Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and this is the final part of a nine-part series looking at my favorite picks from Automation Fear 2017. Now, I didn't go to the show this year, but I'm using Rockwell's product guide and I'll put a link to it on the bottom of the screen, which has just a ton of products in it. Um, and I picked out my top, uh, you know, nine products from the show. And uh, this product, I'm, I'm kind of talking about the products in order they're going to be released. And this product, doesn't actually have an exact release date. It says mid to late 2018, but it's super cool because this is a new version of Flex.io. Specifically, this is Flex 5000, and it just looks cool. And I, I love Flex.io because the modules sit right on the terminal box horizontally. I also love Flex.io because you mount it vertically. However, Flex.io, the connectors connecting the terminal box to each other, don't like them. People always bend them. They're kind of wimpy. You know, not like the uh, uh, 1769 uh, compact I.O. where you can slide them together and they're really snapped together well. So I'm excited about getting updated Flex I.O. But it's not just updated Flex I.O. This, uh, this line of I.O. will have a high-speed bus. They'll have gigabit adapters for Ethernet, um, either fiber or, or uh, copper. Um, and... It's like the uh, the old extreme product Rockwell had, where um, it'll do wide wide temperature range. I think it's minus forty to plus seventy C, so wide temperature ranges. Um, kind of replaces the old uh, Flex EX because it does um, uh, intrinsically safe and you know uh, this all the information's here in the article. Class one, Div two, Zone two, groups A, B, C, D, E, F, um, and it's also for extreme environments and. Not only that, there are safety versions of the I.O. modules. So it's kind of like everything in one. So if you've really liked Flex I.O. because it mounted vertically or horizontally, it was, it was um, just high-density modules. You can get up to 32 di digital points on these I.O. modules. Um, this is pretty exciting. This is cool stuff. Now, if you're using something else, then this probably won't interest you. But if you were a fan of the Flex I.O., this is exciting, an exciting new product. Hopefully it comes out next year. They're saying mid to late next year. Now, if you have thoughts about this or you want to learn more information about this, head up to the automationblog.com. I have an article just on the Flex 5000. In it, I have a lot of technical details, and I also have a video from Rockwell in there. And there's also a poll, so you can tell me what you think about Flex 5000. And there's even a link where you can leave a comment on the article to let me know your thoughts. So check that out. And if you know anybody who needs to learn how to use Control Logics and Studio 5000, RS Logics 5000, please recommend they check out my website, theautomationschool.com, where I have a whole eight plus hour course on the Control Logics and RS Logics Studio 5000. So ask them to check it out. It's about 10% of the price of going away to the factory for training, just the tuition, ne never mind all the travel and whatnot. So it's available on DVD if you want to just buy one DVD for the shop. Or it's available digitally, where if you go through the entire course, you get a certificate saying you completed it. And maybe you can give that to your boss and get a raise. But whatever the case is, if you know anybody who needs to learn about Control Logics, please uh, uh, send them over to theautomationschool.com to check out my course. And with that said, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.